Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to connect to Oracle 11G da database to to Oracle, Toad for Oracle. So I am using Toad for Oracle 9.0 and I am going to show you the two modes of connecting to Oracle 11G database. One is uh, if you have installed uh, Oracle client adapter uh, by uh, either you have uh, installed Oracle Forms 10G or Oracle Forms 6i. So there is Net8 client already installed. Uh, there is a TNS name TNS name start ORA file, which actually gives uh, the service name by which you can connect to Oracle database. The <coughs> second one is direct connection so first I am going through uh, connecting to uh, I will connect to the system schema uh, and I will use the TNS so I will select the TNS from here here the say TNS is ORA which is actually connecting to the to this database which is 11G Oracle 11G release 2 installed in Red Hat Linux 6.0 so <coughs> this is the Oracle 11G database. This ID RCL, and you can see it is installed in U01 APP Oracle product 11.1.0 DB1 in U01 uh, APP Oracle. And uh, I'll also show you, give you the IP of this one that is you can see 192 168 171 166 so uh, you, I can also show you the TNS file <coughs> see this is the TNS file you can see uh, TNS name is ODA and <coughs> Uh, protocol TCP and port 1521 and host this one so <coughs> I'll connect through this TNS and connect as normal and I just connect to this one there's a problem I think with the password <coughs> so it is connected you can see I have connected to the system schema uh, we have also selected the schema browser you can see all the ta tables views everything you will find under the system schema so this is how uh, we have connected through TNS names suppose you have not uh, your TNS is not configured so you can also made <coughs> A direct connection. I have done an end connection from session. So I'll again connect, make a new connection. I'll connect to the same schema system. <coughs> uh, as I'm using Oracle 11 GC, I have uh, pre previously I've given the password system, but it is on uppercase. But uh, prior to 11 G on the previous Oracle version. There is the password is not case sensitive. Whatever case you give for the password is uh, always uh, accepted. But in 11G, I found that uh, it is case sensitive. Uh, though the uh, since the password is in lower character, lower case, so <coughs> uh, it is it does not accept in that time. So as I've seen on the uh, TNS name, and also you have got here uh, at the IP. So I'll just give the IP address to the host name you can also provide the host name but since my host name is localhost which will config with a local <coughs> other database uh, here so I have given the IP address which is unique port is 1521 as I shown you and I will not provide the service name I will provide the SID here which is ORCL so this is the direct connection and I click on connect 
okay it is connected yeah here is a, a small message oracle client version is the older than server <coughs> client should be the same version on the new version actually the my native client is uh, 6 i oracle uh, installed by oracle forms developer 2000 which is an older version so <coughs> here's the check uh, if you verify oracle client is newer or the same if you uncheck this this message will not appear next time <coughs> so now it is connected you can see it through the schema browser So this is uh, the two method by which <coughs> we can connect to the <coughs> see it is all uh, it is already saved uh, whenever you uh, connect to the <coughs> database uh, it all it save on the list and you can make another thing uh, suppose I connect to this one I place the password here and I click on save password and connect it <coughs> so what will happen next time <coughs> next time when you will connect I make the end connection next time when you make new connection see the password is safe and again you don't want if you want to don't want to save the password just uncheck this one and click on connect and uh, next time the password will not appear on the password box so it is same that this procedure is same and you can also make it auto connect here if you make it auto connect it will automatically connect uh, let's uncheck this one connection next time I make a new connection okay let's also uncheck this one actually auto connect works uh, only if there is a uh, one single connection is there uh, if there is multi multiple connection it will not perform auto connect otherwise you will not get the dialog box and connect to some different uh, server or different connection so this is uh, what about uh, a simple video of connecting <coughs> through TNS names or through you know, I mean TNS configuration or through a direct connection to uh, Oracle database provided remember that uh, using toad for oracle uh, native client native client will always should be installed on your computer which is oracle client adapter uh, toad actually use that uh, client adapter to connect to the oracle database so that's all for this video thank you very much